What's up? This is H and East XO. I'm here. Every time I look on Facebook, I constantly get these um, ads that are cancer ads for Zantac. And I'm about sick of it because I do have family that passed away from cancer and from other, you know, health related issues that were just unfortunate for like six, seven years or more. And um, I tried to hide the ads. But they come back, and it's like, I can't even go on Facebook without seeing an ad uh, for um, cancer uh, rights for, uh, you know, it's just horrible. And uh, I'm looking on Facebook right now, and so far I haven't seen it, but I will see it eventually. And this coronavirus is just a nightmare. Um, our state has got a little better. But, um, it's just horrible. Dealing with the customers and then having to, you know, work when you can work, you know, of course. And extra precautions as well as, you know, things like that. About, about you know, like about ready to say, um, it's enough. It needs to end. It is ruining the U.S. It's ruining, it's destroying Easter for this year for me. And, uh, that's just not right. And, um... I don't know what to say. It's just horrible. I mean, so far I haven't sh hasn't showed it, but you know, when you go on Facebook, you get all these cancer things, even um, earpieces and all that, or you know, injuries, lawsuits. Um, they're really annoying, and they shouldn't be on Facebook for a very good reason. And that's just. No one needs to see that. If someone, you know, it's, it's family based, it's purple based, and when you have family members who uh, unfortunately died for, you know, awful reasons for health related, and I just don't see myself watching these ads for Zantac for cancer and Roundup, and um, it's just not right to be on Facebook with these horrible ads of these. <sighs> I say settlements and then it can be placed somewhere else. It does not need to be in the Facebook feed as I know it. And it shouldn't be, but it is. And every time I see one, I usually hide it. But I wish I could just say, push one thing and say, I don't want to see any of these ads for cancer or, or ever lawsuits. I don't want to deal with because I'm not a person that deals with those. And technically, with my family's life being lucky, like having health issues, I don't want. I don't want to see these. You're talking to one who just suffered from depression earlier in his life, had family that died like way before I turned thirty, or way before I turned twenty-five or twenty-eight. You know, because you know they had heart attack or they had cancer. There were a couple of ones with cancer. Um, it's just unfortunate. That their lives were taken before any of us. And uh, that's something I don't want to go through again. And Facebook should, should be monitoring these lawsuit ads. Because I don't think they belong on the platform as a whole. And it's just horrible. You know. If you're new to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe and comment like below. Because this is the kind of things I talk about. I've been busy lately having to clean certain areas while I was trying to deal with the arthritis pain that will probably bug me for a couple more months or for life that I've been taking a special arthritis tunnel just to come back the pain and sometimes it feels pretty good and sometimes after a while being off that's when it starts hurting so uh, nothing I can do about it it's just part of my how I had injuries in the past and when you have a bleeding disease when you're born and you have all these injuries um when you get older, our rice will show up quite early for me, for sure. I guess this hereditary bleeding disease. Um, my number one thing I get asked for as a worker is, why can't you use the cart thing, the machine that drives the carts? Well, there's a very good reason for that. One, um, I got autism, so it wouldn't be a smart idea to run over my foot. And then also, I get a bleeding disease where I lack fat create. So any time I get an injury, it's critical and life-threatening. 
and it usually starts with a good, that would start a humongous bleed in my foot, and I would not be able to walk at all. I'd probably be off months if this would occur one time only. Um, so when they found out about my hemophilia history with the store, and I was like, um, we don't trust you, my parents don't trust me to do it, and I should never do it anyway, because I could easily uh, get hurt, and I think one guy did get hurt, um, but luckily he didn't have this hemophilia genetic illness of the liver, where you usually bleed, because I'm, I'm missing a protein in my blood, so it's very serious, and there's no cure for it, but there's treatments, but it would cause a fortune if it occurred right now. And um, right now is not a time to go to the hospital because they're overswamped with these COVID-19 coronavirus uh, people sick with it and dying. And there's no way. It's not even safe to go in there. Uh, with this ammonia disease, it's the Lord's wrath, basically. And you just got to let it pass. You know, that's one of the plagues of the 10. It's just the first bit of the of the rest of the plays the first part and um there's probably more coming you'll eventually pass as i know uh this is just like scars but far worse when i was in fifth grade there was scars outbreaking from china but that one was really contained easily but still it's, it's spread but not as severely as this covid virus and china if they didn't lie about it and told the, you know, they told the truth and told us, well, there was a mysterious uh, ammonia illness of a virus. We would probably shut our doors from, from all the other countries to contain this virus. But now it's in the U.S. and it's just going to brink up infection. And they're hoping it peaks by Easter day, by the 12th of April, 2020. There's a high chance, but uh, it's already going down. But uh, now the economy is completely crushed by this pandemic. It's like it's rattled. It's like it wasn't before. Uh, thankfully, my stock is not losing value that much at times. There's a lot of people losing money, trust me. And a lot of job loss. And um, I wish they told the truth and nothing but the truth to the U.S. citizens that this was a virus from China that just originated from there. Like, they're all the rest of the um, these severe illnesses, like MERS, and that was in 2012, but that was, that was contained easily. Then Ebola was one several years back, and that was contained again, once again. But this one, definitely not. And it's actually spreading without symptoms. Even if your workplace tests... Um, test for your temperature the fact is this is proven so many months ahead of time in the past that it spreads without symptoms basically and um the only way to know if your co-workers have it is give them get tests and it's not cheap if the hospital the insurance doesn't cover it and you know it's like ten thousand dollars or more ninety thousand dollars plus for a test and i don't think you get the information back for that but uh it has to be mailed off. It takes a couple of days, and uh, we're just watching our associates. I mean, temperature checks is probably not the best idea, but it's a safety precaution. But the true test is the swab in the nose, and knowing that you could easily have someone no symptoms but have the illness, even if they fight it off, it's still in their blood and it can still spread. So, yeah. Even weeks later, they're so contagious, and there's a high chance of dying still for some of these cases after, you know, get over it. But some make it fine. But there is a complication risk, like most plagues of the generations. I mean, the Spanish flu was mild at first, and then they had a mutation that was started from rats, of course. And it killed a lot more people. And um, this is a reminder of that back in the over a century ago. You know, we got this one probably exceeding it by now, by soon, and, uh, I don't know, it's, New York's not looking good, uh, Illinois just got far worse from my state, they, like, a couple days ago, they went over 
ten thousand cases or more. I mean, it was just like it was like fight pilots, you know, pilots in the uh, airports. Hundred of them, I think, tested positive for the strand, and that's that's shocking. Okay, it can last for even weeks or days on surfaces, and it doesn't go as fat. It, is, it lasts longer, basically, uh, on certain locations, and um, yeah, it's a tricky virus to contain. And it's like it says, the honey badger, badger virus. It's hard to contain, and I wish it would be more. I wish China would listen and told the truth. Tell the truth, basically. But, um, they didn't. They signed those things. And now I think they're done with another two epidemics of it in their country. Uh, there's one there's bird flu that they were trying to contain. I haven't heard, I haven't looked at that for a while. If it got worse, and then there was another strain of this corona um, virus, apparently. So there's another deadly outbreak. And some other countries have a worse version of this coronavirus that's in the U.S. that's killing a lot in Italy. Guess it mutated and it's far deadlier. Um, yeah, they're having to really cope with the, you know, the losses and all that. And even if you get better, there was a father that passed away and uh, he improved with his pneumonia. And then the next day he, he passed away basically. He wasn't with the family. He had trouble breathing while a couple of days prior or a week ago or less from that time, and, uh, it's attacking the heart, maybe, but, uh, there's a chance, but, yeah, it's been killing people like that. For, uh, even if they get better, there's still a high chance they could actually die because of the virus, and, uh, I don't know how, but it's, some, it's, there is, uh, if there's some information going around that this was definitely funded in China for a lab to be built, and that guy did get arrested in January, the first part of the year. And it could have been genetically engineered, like most things are these days. To carry a deadly payload of ammonia in a really severe form. And that payload is the ones that kills the people, even if they are, are done with it. It's still in their body, ready to kill them. And there's nothing we can do. I mean, we just hope it... Passes us with the Lord's blood that this uh, doesn't get worse. But uh, that seems to be the worst virus of Hotel U.S. history for a long time in the world. And it's, there's more probably coming, I guess, when I'm into the 10th plague or whatever. So uh, this is just the first uh, outbreak of, of a plague in the end times. And uh, it will get worse, trust me. As Pope Francis said, the U.S. people are definitely sinning against the Lord, and this is a punishment for it. And uh, if you don't believe me, read the Bible. It shows they'll pull out vials of uh, plagues in the end times from heaven, and it will fall on the earth. And um, this is just proven by the Lord through the, through the Bible to know that uh, this is his anger. A furry on his creation for doing incorrect things and living their lives incorrectly. And, you know, he's not happy right now. None of them up there are happy with the U.S. government and the rest of the world because there's a very good reason why he's um, furious and causing grief with these plagues. And they said it would occur and they're starting to occur. We're definitely in the end times. We're close to the Lord's return. These are definitely showing what it says in the Bible for sure. And um, I don't know what the next plague will be. There's, there's quite a bit of them. But it doesn't really show. It doesn't really tell really that much about what plague it is, you know, for each one. But this is like one out of the how many there are. And it just it's hopefully fast and pray and. That uh, this country gets over it quickly. But the world still has a chance for this to, to reemerge. And hopefully it gets under control. Because it's, it's literally deadly in hospitals. And they're swamped. Um, yeah. They're running out of protective equipment. It's so severe. And there's not even a face mask or gloves really. Think, think about it. It goes through the air more than they thought. And, uh, 
and to your eyes as well, probably. So, uh, yeah. And it could take up to 14 days to develop symptoms, or two days only, for the least lowest amount. But, yeah. It's nothing to mess with. Definitely nothing to mess with, basically, folks. So thanks for watching.